I'm Nigel Hughes. I'm a professor of geology at the University of California, Riverside. I work on trilobites, and uh, many years ago when I did my PhD defense, I wrote and played this, uh, this song, uh, partly to avoid any difficult questions at the end. Um, but it's really uh, meant to be a humorous song about the fossils that I work on, trilobites, um, but really a, a celebration of a, of a life in science. It's called a lament for the passing of the trilobites. Oh, look, what can this be? Swimming all over the Cambrian Sea. Is it Sprigina? No, it cannot be. Some new and strange innovation, maybe. Oh, come, hear the tale of the trilobite staves. Niches exploited in so many ways. Where did they come from and where did they go? I've just spent three years and I still not know. Paradoxides is not what it seems, more or less segments, who knows what that means. Trilobite workers in such consternation, intraspecific phenotypic variation. Oh, come, hear the tale of the trilobite stays, niches exploited in so many ways. Where did they come from and where did they go? I've just spent three years and I still do not know. Figure pits with their shines across, more or less lenses, was that really wise? Natural selection, it made the decision. Advantages reap from peripheral vision. Or come, hear the tale of the trilobite stays. Niches exploited in so many ways. Where did they come from and where did they go? I just spent three years and I still do not know. So why did these marvelous creatures decline? Was it meteorite impacts or just too much wine? Was it drying of oceans on Pangaea's shores? Was it natural progression of one of Cope's laws? Alas, it seems there's no end to debate to the ultimate cause which determined their fate. For trilobite workers would be out of a job. So if you discover, just keep shut your gob. That was the tale of the trilobite stays and the niches exploited in so many ways.